this time. Okay, if they've played Calvate, let's do this. An interesting choice. That was a point swing. Jeez. Woohoo! Let's get it! I'll call for rank one, baby. You're not gonna stop me, man. You're not gonna stop me. No way. I'm coming for you. Hey, we got Braithens in there. Come on, man. I'm gonna get Braithens. Yes! Haha! <laughs> yes! Straight up, man! Check it out! Oh, that's some good stuff, dude! Oh! <laughs> What's up, you absolute legends? Welcome back to another deck guide. For today, I've put together a Nilfgaard list for you, and we are playing this very cool card, Renfri. So, the whole deck is pretty much constructed around her because she has a very specific condition that we have to meet in order to utilize her deployability. So overall, it's an assimilate style of deck. The leader ability that we're going to be using is double cross. This allows us to create and play a card from your opponent's hand. The way we'd like to use the double cross leader is obviously when we have a few assimilate units down because it can help to trigger assimilate. And it would either come out round two or round three at best. Before we get further into this deck guide, please take this moment now to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so already. Uh, my next objective is to reach 6,000 subscribers and I'd really appreciate your help and support in doing that. So the stratagem that we're going to be using is Magic Lamp. We just get this token unit. This is when we go first, obviously. A few more extra points on the board. I do like this stratagem. Um, better than Collar, which is played in some cases. Some Sometimes people like to run Collar because it offers a bit of control. But I'd rather have five points because points are really important in getting round control. Um, sometimes you might not get the cards you need, etc. So what I'm going to do is run you through this list bottom up and explain how best to play each card, when to play it during a match. And after that, I'm going to outline how to execute the strategy for this deck. To begin with, we're starting with the four provision cost cards at the bottom of this list that you can see here. We do have the Emissary in this deck. Emissary is to synergize with Braithens, this unit here. It allows us to play Braithens proactively when going first in a round and there's no units to copy on the board. That's the only use of Emissary in this deck. So boost an ally by seven, it goes to your opponent's side. Um, most of the time, you just kind of want to keep this card in your deck and not really search for it. As far as control goes, I've added in two of these hunter units. Um, at four provision, we get two locks, not bad. We're looking to play these cards on the range draw, and you could lock some important units of your opponents that have certain abilities. So I think they can come in handy at this time, considering the kind of cards that are being played. So you're gonna use these as you need during a match. One turn code in this deck. This is really to help set up Terra Nova in our list to give Terra Nova a better target um, to play later on when we play Terra Nova. So with the turn coat, you could play it out round one or any other time really. Deploy, you get to give an enemy unit spying. Order, conspiracy, damage an enemy unit by one. Whenever an enemy unit gains spying, reduce this unit's cooldown by one. Uh, for some graveyard manipulation, I put Squirrel in this list. You never know, Squirrel could come in handy sometimes. Deploy, banish a card from your opponent's graveyard. 
We're running a lot of units with deploy ability. Obviously, this is a list full of units because we're playing Ren 3. That's her condition. So it does make sense for me to add Norsa Kasajan in at 4 provision. Turns out to be a nice engine. Whenever you play a unit with deploy, this card boosts itself by 1. I'd suggest playing this out around 1 and then you could play the other out around 2 or 3. It's a nice proactive way to open up into a round. We have two Duchess Informants. This loyal unit, like the Emissary, going to your opponent's side of the board. Spawn and play a base copy of a non-disloyal bronze enemy unit. Um, before you want to play Duchess Informant out, really, you for the most part, want to have some Assimilate units down. So you're getting some boost off that Assimilate value. So Informants could be good round 1, round 2, or 3. They seem to be flexible in our list. We are running a thinning package to help in giving us points and also to help improve the consistency of this deck because we're not running Calvate in this deck. We don't have tactics here. So we've got to get consistency some other way. So the way we're going to do that is through use of thinning. So we're running two Blight Makers, two Mage Assassins. The way these cards work, they're a combination you play out together. What you want to do is always keep these two cards in your deck and you're going to go ahead and play out Blight Makers round one to help get round control. And when you play the Blight Maker down, it allows you to look into your deck and choose a card that you'd like to move to the top. That's going to be the Mage Assassin. Mage Assassin comes out to the board, two points of random damage. Not bad. So play these out round one to help getting our consistency as the match progresses. Then we have Mage Torture. We're playing two Mage Torturers. Um, Veiled Unit can't gain status. Assimilate. Given enemy unit spying. So this card is in our deck to help give Terra Nova um, better targets to replay later. And yeah, it's just a nice assimil... It's good to have an assimilate unit down when we're playing our opponent's cards out because it's going to be boosting whenever we play our opponent's cards. All right. You can play one round one with the informants maybe and then save the other with Terra Nova, Braithens. Renfree's gang for thinning and points. Deploy if your starting deck has at least 25 units. Summon all copies of self from your deck to this row. Basically meaning we have two, copy, two copies of these. You keep one in your deck at all times. And the other one you're going to look to deploy. And it thins the other copy out. So 6 for 12 is pretty good points. You can use this round 1. We're playing Anna. Deploy ranged. Replace your leader ability with a base copy of your opponent's leader. Now, uh, I know a lot of people are running Renfree at this time. So who knows what kind of value Anna could play for. I believe if your opponent has played Renfree and they've got that um, Renfree leader and you play Anna, you get a copy of that leader. I think that's how it works. I, I haven't tried that yet, but if it does, that would be pretty damn good. So we're going to see how Anna plays. Um, you kind of want to synergize Anna with Terra Nova, I believe. Maybe you could get a good unit copied. And then use your opponent's leader ability to activate that unit you play with Terra Nova. So Anna's going to come out, obviously, after playing double cross leader. You could look to commit Anna then. Probably around two or three, you'd play her out. Um, just obviously make sure you exhaust your leader ability. Um, so make sure you play out your Renfree leader, double cross leader. Then you play Anna afterwards. Otherwise, it's just going to waste your leader, okay? Lydia is nice because she gives us more assimilate triggers on the board. You can play her melee row, create and play a bronze special card from your opponent's faction. Ranged, play a bronze special card from your opponent's graveyard. So it's pretty nice because you can play it in a specific way, ranged row, if you want to um, target something in particular, or you can just go for more of a random style of play. But we are playing rune mage in this deck, so melee row should play good as well. Um, you could play her round one to help get points. Or when you have your assimilate units down. For control, I've added Vilgaforts in this deck. We're looking to play Vilgaforts melee row to destroy an enemy unit. Then your opponent summons the top unit from their deck to a random enemy row. Just the control option. Use your control sparingly. Be smart about it. You can use it at the end of a match as a final say. Maybe round two, round one if there's an important unit. Just try to look to get good value out of this card. Then we have Matter. 
they play ranged if neither player has passed and your opponent's hand is not full they draw the lowest cost card and you draw the highest cost card so matter is another way to ins ensure we draw our important golds so it will really make sure we get ren free turn over in particular but of course there's a number of other good goals that we'd like to draw into as well matter is a card you can definitely play out around one if you like range draw play rune mage deploy for the rest of the game your create effects show you five options instead of three create and play a rune stone of your choice one of the ones that you see selected there uh, rune mage is great because it gives us extra reach through our leader ability we can see more cards from the opponent's hand when we commit it um, also plays good with lydia and i think that's about it for our deck i may be mistaken if i'm missing something but anyway um as far as what you'd want to go for i think northern realms seem to have pretty good um bronze units or st maybe even Nilfgaard could be good too it really depends on what faction you're versing and maybe if you can synergize those units using some informants and brathens etc but i think rune mage is it's pretty smart to play rune mage out round one because we just want to make sure our create effects are optimized for the rest of the match and try to play this down after you've got an assimilate unit down brathens assimilate unit deploy create and play a bronze disloyal unit from your starting deck so you're going to get to select emissary to play out or duchess informant most of the time you're going to want to play this for duchess informant because you get more points copying your opponent's units replaying their um, abilities of those units but if there's not a good bronze target to copy you could just play emissary for the boost as well brathens would come out round two or three at best sometimes you might have to play brathens round one if you don't have the right cards to get um, points terranova is a big powerhouse assimilate unit as well spawn and play a base copy of any non disloyal unit you gave spying to during this game excluding self i think terranova is kind of gonna kind of be a card you either play around two or at the very end of a match usually it gives us a lot of points and yeah try to give terranova a good target to replay um through the use of mage torture or turncoat whoops <laughs> then we have renfrey okay finally we get to renfrey deploy if your starting deck has at least 25 units Create a curse to replace your leader ability, then create a blessing and infuse your leader with it. So when we play Ren Free, typically, we get a choice of three. Three curse or three blessing. But because we're playing Rune Mage before we play Ren Free, we'll get to see five. So the odds are increased that we could go for something we really like. Um, the kind of options that I like to target with Ren Free for curse like curse of pride seems really good destroy an enemy unit with 10 or less power i really like that option that's typically what i'd go for um and as far as the blessing um i think blessing of temperance can be pretty good after using your leader ability set the lowest power allied unit to 12. maybe we have a bit of high powered units because we're boosting um after using your leader ability, randomly split 8 damage among all enemy units. That could be pretty good as well. Just have a look and see how the, what kind of a deck you're versing, what the battle scene looks like. And that's what I like about this card. You can kind of be really creative with what you're going to select and play. So obviously you're playing Renfri. After we've committed our leader, um, she can be played out round 2 or 3, I'd suggest. Okay, so now that we've run through this list, let me explain how to execute the strategy for this deck. In my opinion, round one, we want to emphasize thinning and consistency to make sure we get all the good cards we'd like to see during the match, right? So in addition to that, the thinning packages that we're running give us a lot of good points. It should help us to get round control. So obviously you wanna open up with like Nausicaa Sergeant, you play out Blightmakers, play out Renfri's Gang, you could play Turncoat to help set Terranova up. Um, Mage Torture, perhaps. Maybe Duchess Informant. Uh, Rune Mage at most. Mata. Let's say that's enough to get you around control. If you're versing a control-heavy deck, you probably want to bleed and um, 
make it awkward for them don't give them a long round where they could just destroy all your units out so either way whatever you're going to decide to do after that the following sequence of play would be to commit cards such as Brathens, uh mage torturers whatever you ha haven't had left duchess informant you've got your leader ability to use um lydia and you got anna renfrey terranova etc basically you just got the remaining list to play out and you're going to play it out according to whether or not you decide to bleed try to save vilga forts maybe as final say at the end of the match then again you got renfrey leader um destroy an enemy unit with 10 or less power that's a tall punish option too kind of so this deck it kind of brings out the creativity in us it's pretty fun to play um keep an open mind as you play it and play it according to what you see um, on the battlefield at the time when you're committing this deck hope you're gonna have fun playing this list and thanks for your support as always all right all right let's go it's game time baby it's game time what you got Let's do it, let's do it. What's good, Forest? Force of nature? We want a long round. We don't wanna we don't wanna play into round two, I don't think. Yes, yes. It's gonna be full on zero concentration. That's it, baby. Final push. The most optimal plays possible is what we're looking for now. Every move, better than the last. Why not, baby? It's gonna be, um, Koshi and all that crazy stuff this deck. Isn't it? Oh, I got double Renfree here. Double Renfrey's gang. Come on, man. Let's get rank one with this. Cursed Damsel, okay. Yeah, all that kind of good stuff, huh? We could boost that up with Emissary, maybe, somehow. Like, Terra Nova, use it. Just thinking ahead a bit. I want to get a good engine, though. Yep. I can't really push with this hand, friends. I can't really do it. I don't see a push happening with this hand. No. Maybe if I had the six available to be played. Not like this. That's good. Maybe that could still be used somehow, but this has to go. Drago? They wouldn't be replaying anything there. And if I insert a needle here, what then? That's also not so bad in Drega Lava. So, they're not row stacking, so they're not playing some kind of Sabbath stuff. I hate nothing more than a creaky door.
So I've killed one off. So we're getting Brathens, aren't we? No, Renfri, isn't it? It's Renfri through this. Me for help. Now that's smart. <laughs> right. Getting very far ahead on points now. Draw a card, then play a card. A card to play. <laughs> Do not make me beg. Maybe I'm gone. No, should I get a leader? Igni. Oh. Renfrey. I think I'm doing this. Yeah, it's Batiste. Go ahead. Feel it. That's base power. Oh my goodness. Why are they gonna give me the boss matches? <laughs> On the last one I rank up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Do you guys feel like that too? They give you literally the hardest match just before you rank up? <laughs> oh. So I got Filga Forts. What do they got? We got evolution in there. I will not have you gaze at me, sir. Predatory dive? No. We kind of don't want to run out of room, too, though, huh? What's it boosting by? By its power. Right. <laughs> the god player. <laughs> oh wow, really? 
Oh, yes, yes, come on. All right. Okay, we can fix our hand now. Oh my goodness. Spawn your stratagem on your melee. So doing eight points of random damage after using this. So I gotta hold that actually. Do I just go rune mage right off the bat? That's not so bad. Give it a shield. You've met your match. Okay, that's a threat too. We've got tall punish with Vilga Forts. We've got a lock with the three. We've got control options here. We've got a lot of different control options. Leader, we got Renfri. Guess we gang. Boss doesn't like you. Should I just use Black Leader right now? When's best to use it? Should we just wait a bit, maybe? I am dead. Quite literally. I exist because Master Lakeda wills me so. We'll just see. Ah, we'll do it now. Alright, alright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should we do it right now? What's the odds of killing it? Could get Braithens. Maybe I should have, like I probably should have went Renfri to be honest, but I just ran out of time. Yeah, yeah, okay. How do we do it? We've got a few threats, We've got a few threats here. I could lock. Oh, he's locking out, aren't I? Yeah, I'm caught this, yeah.
first move I've captured this time. Trigger's Koshi again. Yeah, it's Batiste. Go ahead, feel it. I don't even know if I care about Koshi now. Answering it. So they have Igni. What's Filgerfort's going to be for? Yeah, they got a lot of points, man. Got a lot of points. They got Igni, remember? Matter. Seriously. Music marries cultures. Connect folk to one another. <laughs> what the hell did they just draw? Spear tip, you think? Quite the mean little task. <laughs> hey, what's up, my friend? How are you? Yeah, we played around it. Um, okay. They'll pay for my stolen birthright. That's the best. Yes! Woo! Oh, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! What? Yes! We did it! <laughs> oh man! <laughs> I'd love to. I'd love to take on the honor. But, you know, that's for the people to decide. I'll do my best. The people must choose.
heard about Tridam Ultimate. Mm. It's good. What's good, everyone? Nice to see you all. We're playing Renfrey today. Nilfgaard Assimilate Renfrey. Let's put it to the test. Can we get to rank one with this? It's Calvate. It is. I forgive you. This time. Okay. If they've played Calvate. Let's do this. An interesting choice. Probably go on Mata next. And we just want to get round control and bleed round too hard, I think. So their turnover's gone now, because we did that. Brathens, we want to give that spying for sure. Yep, we definitely want this for turnover. And if I insert a needle here, what then? So we got turnover out, we got Brathens out, round one. Very good. Nice Slave hunter. Catch him! He's worth 20 florins! We got points with blight makers, easy. Hail cancer. All these signs mean but one thing. I bring death. Quite literally. Can play the other package out too. Fifty to forty-four. So they've given spying to Vilgaforts, but it won't matter anyway. Turnover's gone. Rune Mage is good. Nice. I've lost a lot of good cards already around one, I feel. Truffle. Truffle into Mage Torturer. We could kill it with a random thing of this. Come on, get it. No good wine will come from here. Right here. Compost. Oh crap. It was close. The magic's um developing. <laughs> the magic will come soon.
Gotta be very careful of them playing coup onto Anna. They're playing into it. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. You go for NR. NR's pretty solid, yeah. Alpha, what's good? Welcome. Spigo. What is truth if not an illusion? I divine this new from a sparrow's innards. Goes leader. Hmm. Maybe it's... Should it be turned over for me then? It's gonna be a lot of points. They're gonna go turn over, huh? I'm doing good, thanks. How about yourself? So they get... Uh, Vilgefortz, was it? Well, they gave us an engine. Don't snap your spout at me. True love could lift the curse, but who would love such a freak? Just a peek. That is all I need. We have to lead or I'm at risk of going card down. So, bribery, yen. We'll get another Terra Nova for later. They went Braithens over Nova? Really now? Why is that? I hate nothing more than a creaky door. This is more points, isn't it? Maybe I should have done that before. My duty? To stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Do I enjoy okay, yeah, I think I missed some points Perhaps there. A bit. Feels good to me. I like it. <laughs> you think she's gonna get nerfed? Too bad, Zions. It is better to be on the winning one. I need not spill blood to make you suffer like never before. We're safe to play this now because crew's in graveyard. We're still ahead. I'll just hold it. They're playing. Hmm. Maybe I'm going for Diplomacy? We'll get Bribery. My loyalty is to Imperial Coin, not to the base to pick. Her grace will not be pleased. And 
if I insert a needle here, what then? Just a peek. That is all I need. Suffering a noble friend. You'll be a count once I'm done with you. Um, Lydia. Or should I go Ren? Probably Lydia? Maybe Lydia now. Turn over. Solid. Gotcha, gotcha, puppies. Wow. Jeez. Your name, young man, the man should be cursed into an oak. That is crazy. That's some wild stuff. I hate nothing more than a creaky door. I know the truth. I simply want you to admit it. Should I play this now? Look at so many assimilate units. How's it doing? For you. So if they play, if I play a card. Nah, hold up. I wouldn't have room to play Renfrey, huh? Target acquired. Mm, maybe I should have went Renfrey there. I'm not sure. I was thinking of keeping room for her, but... Would they have lost again? We'll see. It's always wild, eh? They're going for it. I will not have you gaze at me, sir. <laughs> They'll pay for my stolen birthright. That was a point swing. Jeez. Woohoo! Let's get it! I'm coming for rank one, baby. You're not gonna stop me, man. You're not gonna stop me. No way. I'm coming for you. Hey, we got Braithens in there. Come on, man. I'm gonna get Braithens. Yes! Haha! <laughs> yes! Straight up, man. Check it out. Oh, that's some good stuff, dude. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Oh, I love it. And if I insert a needle here, yeah, man. Yeah, I'll do it like this. My duty to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. <laughs> oh crap. Hell yeah. Everyone has their secrets. Everyone. It was looking tight, but we did it. <laughs> Just 
True love could lift the curse, but who would love such a freak? Her grace will not be pleased. Oh, yes! We did it, we did it! I'm happy, man. It's looking a bit wild around two. It bugged out. All right, we got it. Ooh. Get the link and everything then. No worries, my friend. Let's do it, my friends. Let's do this. Let's take this deck all the way. Let's get a mad winning streak with this today. <laughs> Is it really? I've just heard about it. It sounds nuts. I haven't seen it. They're gonna play seal? Okay, Hawker Smuggler. Show me the coin or sod off. <laughs> You're about Troy Dan and we Points feel really good with his deck, like it's easy to get tempo. I like that about it. Oh. Go back across the Yeruga, you bombers! Don't slip me down! Right. I need not spill blood to make you suck. Might be able to use that later. The snowman? Yeah, you can. You can destroy him. You can run, you can hide, or I will get you. Defeat them with hunger, crush them with thirst. We've got good tempo. Are we passing on even? By dwarves? They're really solid. Yo, what's up? How are you? Thanks for coming on. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Probably getting rid of Squirrel here. Do I need it? I don't think I need Squirrel. That's not bad. Rent free, it's good.
Got to stay ahead on points now because we lost uneven. Probably saving Vilgefortz for something really tall. This moment, I've seen it already. Been playing a few years, if that's what you mean. Do you mean like overall how long I've been playing Gwent? If that's the question, I've been playing Gwent a few years. Yeah, yeah, okay. We dance, <laughs> for young is the night. We just stay ahead. Sultan Warrior, it's getting serious. Oh crap. It's getting very serious now. What's my Discord? Um, you can search it there on the homepage of my channel there. You can search it in chat as well. I'm pretty sure I got a command for it. Thanks for the offer, appreciate it. Yeah, feel free to join. Why not? Sorceress. No, I already used that. But this this is a rent free deck? It's already boosted. Probably just the six, is it? Oh yeah, Barraquax. Sounds good. Mm. I think we need points here. It's gonna be.
Just want to stay ahead. I'll spread the armor around so we're getting protection from their pings. I think that's the way to do it, isn't it? They don't have Ren free in hand. We checked. They got they got that one, that the gang card. So, saving this for talk, huh? I have scores to settle. Oh, what do we want to do here? Is that eight? Play the lowest provision, uh, or whatever. I can still save it, yeah? Can I save leader? Just gonna play talk now. Interesting choice. Hi ho, hi ho. Okay. These four units in your hand by one. Thanks for following my friend, appreciate it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So, <laughs> I don't want to buff a disloyal unit, man. That's the thing. Really gonna have nothing left after this. My duty to stick my nose where it doesn't belong. Say what it is. Yes. <laughs> Woo! It don't matter. It don't.